Okay, hi, my name is Anais Valencia, and I'm going to be rushing the crap out of this video because I only have 3 minutes and 55 seconds to record it. So yeah, I'll explain everything that I can't explain in the description. So I'm just here to talk about the Fibonacci sequence and how it is said that it is the equation to life and how I found connecting numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. Basically, it's just a very simple math equation that goes on to infinity. And if you graph it, it looks like a never-ending spiral that just goes boom, boom, boom. Just like your fingerprints, it's embedded in your fingerprints. Um, it's, uh, you can see the spiral of a seashell, the rings of a tree, it's in everything. So I'll go ahead and just show you guys what I found out. At the top there, that is the Fibonacci sequence equation. And if it looks familiar, it's because it is, it's actually in your algebra books. So you start with the root number 0, and you add it by 1. And basically all you do is you add the two previous numbers together throughout the entire sequence. So 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 3... 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, and 144. So the first thing I did was I grouped the numbers according to how many digits there were because the sequence is infinite, so it's kind of overwhelming. So here's the one digit group, two digit group, then three digit group, and then so on and so forth. So I actually look at this group of numbers as the foundation numbers because without these numbers, you wouldn't have all of these big numbers. They're pretty significant in my eyes. So then I moved on to the um, second group of numbers, and I added the digits together because, I don't know, my intuition was just kind of telling me to. So 1 plus 3 equals 4, 2 plus 1 equals 3, and 3 plus 4 equals 7. We can all agree, right? So if you actually notice, 4 plus 3 actually equals 7. And 3 is uh, one of those foundation numbers right there. And so then when I saw the connection, I just had the urge to just keep going because I knew I would find more. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. 7 plus 3 actually equals 10. And then 8 plus 9 equals 17. 7 plus 10 equals 17. So obviously, these numbers connect in a very, very unique way. So now I'll go on to the 3 and 4 digit groups. And I'm really sorry, I'm probably rushing really fast right now. I'm probably talking really fast, I mean... And, um, it's because my video used to be 11 minutes, and I've had to chop it down to 3 minutes and 55 seconds. That's a lot, so, yeah. But I'm sure my point will still get across. So, I'll add the digits together again. This is 9, this is 8, and this is 17, and 9 plus 8 equals 17. And if you remember those foundation numbers, um... Um, 8 is right there, and it's right here too. Um, 7 plus 1 equals 8. There it is again. And these numbers, these foundation numbers, pop up in the Fibonacci sequence frequently throughout like the whole thing. So 6 plus 1 equals 7. This is 24, 22, 19, 14, and 24 again. So the difference between 7 and 24 is 17. Where that number is for the third time, um, 7 plus 1 equals 8 again. The difference between 24, 22, and 19 is 2, one of those foundation numbers, and it actually occurs twice. The difference between 19 and 14 is 5, one of those foundation numbers. And the difference between 7 and 17 is 10, same with 14 and 24. I did it! I did it! 